I just got off of work. I couldn't resist the urge. I've still yet to catch a fish this year. Actually, I caught a fish in an illegal spot, but that kind of doesn't really count. This isn't illegal though. Could be a good opportunity to work on the sidearm. Hey, yo. Might as well get the backhand warmed up. Today is another vlog, by the way. I just got off of work. It's one o'clock and you guys are about to spend the rest of the day with me. I might've just invented a new way of casting. So we're gonna go ahead and test out the tomahawk throw. I definitely just lost this one. Ugh. Dude. Alright. Yay, that was so much fun. And we're back at the house taking care of some mystery box orders. This used to be my office. I don't know if you guys remember it. And everything is now gutted. Which means I can't have any of my discs in here. So now I get to show you guys how I put together orders. Oh, almost got a cramp, that would have sucked. Uh, this is such a pain. Oh my gosh, dude, look at these FDs. With just that little bit of time out there in the sun, look at these things glowing. Taking these puppies to the post office and then we get to hit up the course and play some disc golf. What? Oh, if I could guarantee a metal hit a day, that would be so dope. Um, I just finished shooting up a doomsday disc versus my bag video that I'm trying to stockpile up. Here these last few days, I've literally been doing same day uploads, which are a little bit more stressful. However, I feel more in tune with you guys. I can post a video, I see the comments that day, I can kind of talk about it the next day. For example, somebody was telling me that I need to throw a Sphinx if I want extra distance compared to the Emperor. So we might as well try that out. I said Sphinx, I had Bodanza on my mind. I meant Pharaoh. You guys told me to throw the Pharaoh. It is currently 3.45, so I'm on good time. Tags is at the worst course in Russellville at 5.30, so I'm gonna head out to the soccer complex and do a little bit more field work with these emperors and also fix some things that I did not like about yesterday's video. All right, here we are, same exact spot as yesterday. Two things I wanna fix. One, when I was throwing the DD3s, I kept throwing line drives right at that soccer goal. Then when I got to the emperors, I kept nose up, skying everything. I didn't like that. Second thing, I kept standing like way over here and I was really rounding everything over. I didn't like that either. So I also brought out a Pharaoh. This is not mine, by the way. I found this at Old Post Hole 18. If this is yours, holler at me. There's no name or number. Here we go. Lester C blend up first. This one is the most overstable, so I'm gonna hit this on the tiny little Anheuser release, see how far we can get it. It's a lot better. Still kind of nose up, but it is down there. That one's gonna be the most overstable, so these other two should go a little bit farther. Going purple one first. Not as overstable as that one, but not as stable as the blue one. Kind of right there in that mid spot. That was a good looking line. These things have so much glide. Okay, now this one, a little bit more flippy. I'm putting a nasty hyzer flip on this one today. So high. Okay, here we go with the Pharaoh. I don't know what to expect. I don't know the flight ratings on this or anything. Nice hyzer release, see what type of hyzer flip we can get. A little flip. Again, putting everything nose up, dude. I need to spend more time out here. Let's go see how far those went. Oh, I can't move the bag. They're looking about the same, maybe a little bit farther. I have got to work on this angle release because two nose up, I'm, I'm, I'm missing out on like 50 feet of distance. Our Pharaoh, 445. That's good. Straight across, we've got the most overstable Emperor, the C blend, 438. Rats, rats, rats. And then the Garrett Gerthys went a lot farther. This one was my Heiser Flip Garrett Gerthy, 460. And then like straight across, I mean, it's probably 461, 462. Hitting that little bag is so tough. It's a little frustrating because I've been throwing nose up since I was a baby, dude, which is kind of why I like throwing hyzers or even like force over shots because I feel like I'm less nose up with it. I still do it, but it's not as often. I was going to end it there, but I had to walk all the way back to get my bag. We're going to have some fun. I was doing golf lines. I'm just going to full send these things. We know that that soccer goal is 520 feet. Here's the Pharaoh on a nasty. It was bad. More flipping than I thought. Here we go. C blend. Max distance shot for real this time, I swear. That one's cooked. That one is cooked. We're definitely gonna get to the soccer goal on these. These aren't really golf lines because I like to consider golf lines like consistent. I'm not like playing these huge flex lines. I'm not consistent. Hopefully I am on these three. If we get reckless with it, I know I can hit five bills. Does that one do it? That one has to do it, right? I mean, I'm getting a full flex out of that. 
That one might have done it. Dude, if I can get the nose angle and angle right, this one's gonna be a bomber. Didn't get the nose, oh, I might have. It's so flippy that, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, dang, I'm not measuring these, I'm not. I cannot walk all the way back here, it's too hot. C-Blend is right here. My more overstable Garrett Gurthy one's right here. And then the flippy one, is right here. So, I mean, that's three pretty consistent shots. Now that Pharaoh, yeah, the, he's MIA, but 30 feet from that soccer goal. So it's pretty close. We were probably knocking on the door at 500. Okay, I know we're just kind of copying and pasting yesterday's video, but I'm just trying to make improvements. And also this hole, there's no wind today. Yesterday we had a headwind and that made my sea blend get stuck in a tree. My flippy girthy just hit the ground and then the emperor crossed the creek in a headwind. So I just want to redeem myself, okay? Can we cross the creek and even get inside the circle? If that gets past the tree, Okay, see, here we go. We're starting good. I heard it hit the creek. Pharaoh, I know it's flippy. Not too much hyzer, but definitely just a nice little hyzer relief. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't wait to see where these go. Going with the more stable girthy this time. I'm just gonna try to go right underneath that branch. Ah, oh, man. Nose up McGee is under the chat. Oh. By the way, 100% bagging the C-Blend, and then I think I'm gonna bag the flippy one. And then the girthy one that I just threw, I'll kinda keep him fresh and just kinda use him as a backup. Here is the most flippy emperor. Okay, get over it. Oh my gosh. That's, that's three for three in the creek, that's for sure. So there's the basket, and every single one of these has crossed the creek. Now the cool thing, when I'm in the creek, I'm probably getting a skip off this downslope. I'm pretty sure all of these cleared the, cle <laughs> cleared the creek and hit the embankment. So here is our most flippy girthy. My pharaoh literally spike hyzered right into the creek. Oh, and it's super muddy. Sorry about that, whoever that is. This pink one, I mean, this is, this is a 50 footer. I know you can't see the basket, but what if this is the one to make it? Oh my gosh. I added that in. I was just kidding. Way over here. This is probably like a 60 footer though. This is going to be a lot of fun. And like I said in yesterday's video, I'm still probably going to be throwing that DD3 like 75% of the time. Just because I feel a lot more comfortable with it. And I'm not too familiar with these emperors just yet. The one issue about recording every single day is being so consistent in recording videos makes me less consistent in working on things that I need to work on like my nose angle. I mean, you go back to the very first video. Actually, don't. That's so cringy. I did that the other day. Goodness gracious. I appreciate all of you guys sticking through that. But... I've always been throwing nose up, kind of having like a little air bounce, and I know it's ruining distance on me. The problem is it's like, I'm still accurate, I can hit my lines, but do I just really wanna, it's almost like teaching an old dog new tricks. It's like, do I really wanna kind of scratch everything and learn how to throw the backhand again, or just accept that 450 is gonna be my distance? I don't like saying that, but it is a little aggravating. I think it is one of those things where if I just really grinded for like a week straight, I could get that nose angle down, but that's not something you guys would wanna watch for a week straight, but I don't know. It is 440, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little head start on editing. Did you read any of yesterday's comments? I haven't been on my watching game. You haven't been supporting? Yeah, I'm always supporting. <laughs> See, uh, I'm supporting him by going to Walmart, making a delicious home-cooked meal. It doesn't get home till eight, but whatever. <laughs> Food is piping hot on the table. I don't eat until he gets home. Oh, don't eat your wife. <laughs> All right, well, there's your daily dose of Emily. I'm gonna go to tech. Can I have a dollar, by the way? A decent little turnout at tags. I've got a top 10 tag. I don't, do you have the one tag? I don't even think the one tag's out here. Logan's out here. He forgot his bag, but he's got like five discs. If he's tearing it up, he might jump in on the back nine. And we're just going to jump right into it. Oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, God. What? I'm right here. I probably went out like right here. Thanks. Two over. That's good. <laughs> That's a great tree. 15 feet around the basket is out of bounds, by the way. Three over. I've gone out of bounds in the last three holes. We're locking in. Oh! I don't care how close the putt is, if you have the putt to make it a star frame, good luck. All right, three bogeys, three birdies, bounce back, we're at even. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, that was so close. Got a little four piece going right now. Oh, that was so sawed off. Our streak has ended. Starting another streak. All right, I did not get another streak going. I basically just parred out. I got a few more birdies. I don't know where I'm sitting at, but top five, I think. Stuff's still being finalized. I did cop two more emperors though, so we'll get these things figured out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.